What's up guys, Cormac here with The Disciples and here we have Gabriel Nets and one Mr. Marcus Patel uh, who both made top cut here at UK Nationals playing what deck? Pure Snake Eye! Yeah, oh crazy, my god. crazy. Yeah, so uh, I, got, I got top 8, uh, Shocker, yeah. uh, and played normal Pure Snake Eye. Let's go through this fast because no one cares. Yeah, it's cool. Really fast. Tree Ash, Chip Off, Oak, Tree Bone Fight, Tree Lantern, yep. Tree Witch, Tampa, OSS. Yep. And the bad ones. So I played double flam. Um, I almost played one, but I thought that Harbinger would be slightly better at nationals because you have like random decks that let you resolve cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I draw this card like no tomorrow. Yeah, I should have played one. And, and Snake Eye Bell, which I also draw like no tomorrow, but it's good. Yeah. Uh, my hand top eight going first at both of these. Yep, classic. Uh, no engine. Triash. Tree Valor. Yep. Tree Marner. Shout yep. out to this Marner artwork. Mm -hmm. Triple Imperm. Mm -hmm. Shulger Wang Neb. Yep. For hand traps. Um, the best 12 and then just a couple extras, right? Yeah, so kind of like I wanted Nib, I wanted Nib for Crossa, but I think it's actually pretty bad. Uh, because Nationals play so much other than Pure Snake, and it's kind of bad to all the other decks. And then, so we just played one side of the rest, and instead we play Droplets, well, two Droplets and one Metal Thrones. <laughs> it was two Droplets, and then Marcus said he would main one, and because I know him, he's gonna draw it against me, so I had to have this for Crossa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any thoughts? No, no, cool. Three cross out, call with the grave, talents, no cool. one for one. I yeah. hate one for one. It's actually yeah. fine to play without. I think always been better. Paul was right. As always. Uh, the extra deck, like, you can literally guess my extra deck. Like. Yeah. Um, everything is box standard. Yeah. The one flex pause that we play Draco Saka is the cash cards. Yep. And I play Link Spider because I have a brain. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Leland. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, two nibs, so the that, the other hand for the mirror. Yeah, probably wrong, but okay, sure. It's fine. Yeah, I think maybe change of heart or mind could have been better. Uh, even in the mirror, like, I don't know, like, it's kind of gonna be kind of awkward. Yeah. Because uh, like when you get to like grind state and they don't resolve your play, you don't resolve your play, it's kind of really bad. Yeah. It actually happened to pay. Like I drew this and then like I have a mourner. The mourner doesn't stop the play and then the nib he just plays around it because he's, he's low commitment. Yeah. Uh, Fenrir, Unicorn, Burf, Rates of Staff Army. This was really good for me. Yeah. Every game I went first, I thought I won. Uh, there's actually a couple of cool combos with like Unicorn Ash, so you can end up Harbinger just from that. Mm -hmm. Any play through Nib. Mm -hmm. uh, I was against it. Uh, Paulo convinced me. It was good. Yeah. I kept drawing Burf, that's why I didn't top. Anyway, continue. <laughs> should get better. I draw Flumbers. Yeah. I don't know if that's better or not. No, I draw that one as well, don't worry. Anyway. Uh, Lightning Storm. Uh, so I was actually doing Storm for, I mean, all the decks that usually Storm, and I was doing for the Mayor because you can hit Skill Drain, yeah. and everyone's hitting Skill Drain. Yeah. Um, didn't side Duster because that one's less flexible than Storm in the Mirror, so. Oh, yeah. True. So like you can uh, in the mirror like if they don't have skill drain, you usually can storm the apple because yeah. the apple tends to be made without IP nowadays because they, they go to like uh, Celine to go there. Yep. So at least it's a bit live, more live if uh, shit doesn't resolve. Yep. And then yeah, they didn't play Duster. Yep. And then the two other Metal Thrones and the one other Droplet. Yeah. Because this was three Droplet until Friday and then we just changed it around. So yeah, fine. I feel like maybe I don't know. Droplet has been was okay because like all the, all the bad decks this card is good against. Tronos was good as well. Was good. I, mean, I have tempered that I may go first. I kept trying. Doesn't just throw those in their seal when they just like lose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, cards were fine. And then going first uh, was triple skill drying. I don't yeah. know if skill drying is actually correct. I mean, I don't know. It's a good card. But I think people are starting to play like evenly as a lightning storm, so maybe the niche like downsize and stuff that's sideable because you can lose the game that way. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, I cross out of this against Runic Stun and I flip this and one against a couple people. So yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. Any shoutouts? Uh, deck, uh, deck of Fire Speedrun, shoutouts to everyone, to uh, you, Marcus, Moffat, all the boys that travel, all the other disciples that travel. Um, Paulo, Paulo helped me a lot for the proof prep. And yeah, woohoo, top eight. Woohoo. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, see very cool. We'll see you at points playoff. Alright, bye. Sure.